Good morning, Cancer. Welcome to your mid-November general reading. Uh, remember that these are general readings, and so they may not resonate with everyone. If you do want a reading for your specific situation, I have bookings open, and you can reach out to me either by email or um, just booking straight through on my Etsy. And both of those are in the description box. Okay, let's see, oops, what energies you guys are dealing with the second half of November, Cancer. Okay, Nine of Pentacles, oops, oops. Ooh, the lovers. Nine of Pentacles clarified by the lovers, Cancer. Right. Ten of Pentacles. King of Swords. Eight of Wands. Five of Swords. Six of Swords. And the Hermit. Okay. <laughs> Started off really good, Cancer. Uh, no, but so it looks like we've got a situation here. We've got the Nine of Pentacles, which is card about, um, you know, kind of like being single, single, independent, stable, you know, um, that you've built like a good life around yourself, but, you know, but that you're, you're still single. Um, but it's, you know, it's a place of contentment, being happy, being single on your own. But that's clarified by the lovers. And so, you know, um, I get that... It, it, you know, you've, you've found that level of, you know, stability, happiness in your life. And, but you know, you, you, you want that lover's connection. You want that person to come into your life and, you know, um, and bring that 10th pinnacle, right? Um, cause we're seeing a progression from nine to 10 here. And, um, and so then we see the King of Swords clarifying this 10 of pentacles. The 10 of pentacles is about having, that, you know, that like a family legacy, like, you know, building, um, you know, not only your family, but, you know, kids, grandkids, you know, like a, a sort of an institution of family. Um, and so we, we see the King of Swords clarifying that. So it looks like, um, you know, that you've, you've been in, in this lover's connection. And so, you know, and I can't, I can't, I can't tell for sure whether or not this has been dating or marriage or whatever. It might, it might be because, you know, the 10 of Pentacles did come out, um, you know, but then we've got the eight of wands, which is about a fast communication. And then, um, the five of swords about conflict. And so I don't know which, and, and again, it depends on, you know, cause we probably have lots of different viewers. So, um, so I'm not sure at which stage this is happening. Um, but basically there, there's some fast communication comes in, um, regarding conflict. Now this could be conflict between you and your person, but I almost get the sense with this five of swords that, um, that it, you know, it, it may be from people surrounding you right? Like maybe this person's friends or families or your, your family or friends or whatever. Lots of people having opinions, <clears throat> you know, and there being conflict about the opinions. Maybe what, if they think this person's any good or not, or if they think that this is the right connection for you or not. Um, and, uh, and, and this may be also like a past relationship as well, that you were married to this person, but, uh, you know, a bunch of, conflict came into the situation um the five of swords can also be about um you know someone wanting to win in a situation like um that that essentially like winning at all costs kind of energy 
Um, so that may be an element of this conflict as well, is that there's a person or people that um, that maybe that's a pattern of behavior that they kind of want to, you know, like sometimes when people share their opinions with you, they're really trying to beat you <laughs> into that decision. Um, and and often I, I always say that, you know, um, the the only advice that you should ever take from someone is where they're where they're not pushing you to a specific outcome because if they're really pushing you to a specific outcome then they have an interest and a benefit in that outcome do you see what i mean they're more concerned with their interests than than potentially yours not always but you know anyway then we've got the six of swords here which is about wanting to move to calmer waters moving away from the past moving to calmer waters and that's clarified by the hermit. And so I see you taking some time to go within on this situation um, because you do want to, to move this situation to calmer waters, but you're not exactly sure, um, like, you know, how you want to do that. Um, I, I want to try and get a little bit more clarity on, on where this conflict is coming from or, or what it involves. Page of Cups, there's an apology. Three of Wands. Three of Wands is about having made a decision, but, but you know, the outcome of the decision hasn't happened yet. It's kind of like waiting for your ships to come in. And the Two of Swords is about, you know, being stuck. Um, you know, in, in indecision where you have two different paths ahead of you and, and you're really not sure which, which of those paths is the right path to take. Um, so I kind of see what, whatever, you know, this conflict about it, there's an apology in the mix. Um, but it, it looks like it's, it has the, this, this conflict has put you in a place where you're really kind of reevaluating and considering your decisions that you've already made in the past and, and now thinking like, is was this the right thing to do? Um, you know, should I have made another decision? Should I have, you know, did I go in the wrong direction? Was this the wrong person for me? You know, um, but yeah, I see you going within for that. Let's Let's get some guidance for you on this situation, Cancer. Your true tribe can't show up until you do. How can you show more of the real you? The sense that I'm getting from, from this guidance showing up is that perhaps the crux of this issue, I'm, I'm getting some similar energies for these sign specific readings today about like, um, you know, kind of people having explored relationships and getting to the point of understanding what they don't want. But in order to figure out like what you really do want and in, in, in kind of practical terms, you really have to, to get in touch with yourself and who you are. And a lot of times that's not as simple as you think because, you know, because we've all received programming since we've been born about, you know, um, you know, from our parents, from society, from television, from, you know, culture, like everything that kind of, you know, shapes us into, you know, this is what's good and this is what's bad and this is what you should like and this is what you should dislike. And, and you know, it takes a lot of effort and work to go within and to do the work of, of you know, kind of filtering out all of that noise and figuring out what it is that you, like who you are, who you are at your core without all of that noise. What do you really enjoy? What is important to you? And, um, and we have to do that before we can really start figuring out, we have to figure out who we are before we can figure out what we want. We know what we don't want. And often that's based on past relationships. I mean, um, you know, and not just romantic, but relationships, um, you know, with, with friends, with family, with coworkers, with organizations like companies, like, you know, a lot of times you figure out what you don't want, but it's hard to tell what, you know, to, to have a vision of what you do want. 
because you know again you, you've got to know who you are for that so you know um it, sh it shows in this last card with the hermit you know the guidance is to go within because that is how you're going to move to calmer waters ultimately it's by going in and connecting with yourself and then really and then really starting to figure out who you are and what you want um let's see House 11, friends, like-minded groups, and humanitarian beliefs. And again, this has been common guidance uh, on these sign-specific readings, um, you know, that, that are coming out for mid-November, is, you know, um, start exploring. Like, when you come out of this Hermit energy, after you've kind of gone within for a bit, like, go out and, and, and you know, start connecting with the new, with new experiences, new, um, new, you know, you can meet new people and, and make new friends. Um, when you go and try something that you've never tried before meet up, you know, I don't know if people still use meet up. They don't use it around here, but they did use it like in other places I live, like in the Bay area where, you know, I could meet up with other pagan people, or I could meet up with other paddle boarders um you know and and so like you can go and and connect with other people that have the same interests as you do or have the same beliefs that you do or or whatever the case may be and in you know in this is this is very much an echo of this first guidance card that came out it says your true tribe can't show up until you do um right so so that's really a, a strong message there to go out and explore things um you know potentially that you've never done before maybe you've always had interest in doing it like maybe you've always wanted to try painting but you know um you're just you just you just have it um sign up for one of those wine and paint things you know the point is not to you know um to try you know art because you're going to be a great artist the point is to just try exploring things that you enjoy doing and because just if you're in a space where you're learning and exploring and, and trying new things, guess what? You're going to meet other people that are doing the exact same thing as well. Um, and so, and you're, and, and I get the sense that you're going to make some really important connections for your life when you go in and do that. I'm going to get one more card for you guys. Contentment. And this came out in one of the earlier readings as well. Um, yeah. And so again, it's, it's, it's the same message. It's about, you know, to, to find that next level and, and, you know, cause it's not wrong to want, you know, um, a, a person in our lives, a, a partner to, to go along with us, but we do have to find that contentment within ourselves first. And, um, and often, you know, when we come into our, our first serious like really serious relationships in life, you know, maybe the person you marry or whatever, um, you know, that can often be, we're often in a space where we haven't done this work, where we haven't gone within and really connected to who we are, you know, and not, and just because you're not in a space where you even have the awareness that that's a thing, <laughs> then, you know, you think you know who you are, right? Um, and, uh, so, so anyway, that's, that's the message is that we need to find that contentment within ourselves first. And, and, you know, and I think that you are in as much in that energy that, you know, with the nine of pentacles, that is, there is a contentment within that. And again, there's nothing wrong with longing for a partner, but, you know, often we'll find that we haven't done that work yet where we really know what we want yet. You see what I mean? Um, okay. So I hope that helps cancer. Uh, if this resonated with you, please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Thank you cancers.